All right, guys, so today we're gonna be making our origami fish for our hot and cold fish project. So first you're gonna take a white piece of paper like this and you're gonna turn it the tall way, up and down. And then you are going to fold your paper in half side to side. So then when you open it up, you should have a line in the middle of your paper. Next, you're gonna fold the two corners in to touch the center line. So here's one corner and then I have a straight edge on top. So that straight edge needs to line up with this middle line. So I'm gonna put my finger at the top of my fold and then I'm gonna bring this, this corner down so this line is touching the center line. Then I'm gonna crease on that diagonal fold. So you're gonna repeat that on the other side. So your shape should look like this. You have a triangle on the top and a square on the bottom. Next, we're gonna fold the sides in one more time so once again, this straight edge needs to touch the straight line in the middle. So I'm gonna put my finger at the top to hold it still, and I'm gonna fold my paper in so the straight edge, now it touches the line in the middle. I'm gonna crease all the way down. Okay, so this is our shape now. We have almost an exact triangle. Um, so now I'm gonna grab a pencil and some scissors. You are going to draw a curved line on the bottom. So where this part is flat, I want to turn this into a curve. And it doesn't have to be an exact curve. We just don't want it to be flat. So I'm just gonna kind of sketch a curved line and I want it to go all the way across, side to side, even over those folds. And then I'm gonna cut on that curved line. Okay, so this is gonna be our fish body. So we're not gonna glue it together yet because we still have to decorate the actual fish body. But when we glue this together, these two flaps are going to overlap and it's going to stand up like this. So we have the open part, that's the fish's mouth. And then it goes down to a point that is going to be the fish's tail. So we will add a little tail piece later, but right now we're gonna leave it like this. Okay, so now you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna flip it to the plain side. So you should have no folded flaps. So this is the back with the flaps. We want this side so we can decorate. So next we're gonna get some hot colored markers and you can use crayons too if you want. So remember hot colors remind us of hot things like fire and lava. So you can use yellow, red, orange and pink for this on our fish. So um, I'm gonna first draw my fish's eyes at the top and then the rest of the body you get to decorate however you want with different lines and patterns. Um, so I'm gonna choose a hot color for the eyes. So remember this top part is the fish's mouth so we want it to look like he's facing forward or going this way. And you can, of course, draw your fish eyes however you want. So then I think I want to put a line where my fish body is going to go, like this. Um, and then I'm going to decorate the body with scales in different lines and patterns. So we've learned a lot about different kinds of lines in art. So I'm going to think of those that might look like fish scales. Um, maybe I could do... A, 
kind of jumping type line. Just kind of think of different kinds of lines um, and kind of fill the body of my fish. Okay, so then in between my lines, I'm gonna color with my hot colors. All right, so there is my whole colored fish. Um, so I colored the entire back and I didn't leave any big white spots except for the head. And if you wanna color the head of yours too, you could do that as well. We are first going to make a little tail for our fish before we glue it all together. So you're gonna need a small square white paper like this. Um, and you're gonna need some scissors and some hot colored markers. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your square and turn it on a diagonal, so it's like a diamond, and you're gonna cut it in half, corner to corner. So since I have two triangles now, you could give this triangle to someone at your table if you want. So then um, I can leave this part straight if I want and have just like a straight tail like that. Or if you want to do like a jumping line across, you could do this so it looks like fish scales. So it would be like that, okay? So then once you have your tail cut out, then you can use your hot color markers to decorate it. Okay, so here is my fish tail and then here is my fish. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold my fish so that it pops together and it's a 3D fish. So I'm gonna flip it to the back and I'm going to take these two flaps and overlap them like this. So one is in front and one is behind. So they're overlapping them, I'm just gonna push them together like this until they are completely overlapped. So that's what it should look like. And then I have my fish on the other side and it should be open on the inside. So then I'm gonna take my glue and I'm just gonna put some glue in between these two flaps. Like that. Okay, so there's my glue. Then I'm going to refold it and I'm gonna pinch them together. So this part, you kind of have to put your hand in the inside and kind of hold it together with both hands like this. Um, and it works best if you count to 30 in your head. Okay, so there's my fish all folded. Now I'm going to decide where I want to put my fish on the background. So your fish is kind of big and it's going to cover up some of your background, but that's okay. It could be like your fish is the closest thing and these are things that are far away. Um, so we're just gonna decide where you want your fishy to be. And then we're gonna put glue on the back, on the flat side. And then you're just gonna place it on your background. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the, my hand inside I'm gonna press down on my paper and I'm gonna to count to 30 in my head again. All right, so there's my fish. Next, I'm gonna add the tail to the back. So this part, um, we want it to kind of go under your fish like this instead of on top, because that will be kind of hard to glue on. So I'm gonna put glue on the back of my tail. I'm gonna put it under my fish like this and then just stick it down, count to 30 one more time in your head. 
All right, so there is our finished fish. Um, and if you wanna use extra paper like this to add like fins or something off the side of your fish, just like we did with your tail, um, you could do that as well. So there is our finished fish for today.